Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Screencasting is a powerful way to share ideas, train others, and make sure everyone is on the same page. But creating a perfectly polished screencast is more difficult than it may seem. In this article, you'll learn the techniques that I use to make every screencast top notch. I'll show you how to set up your recording environment and minimize interruptions, how to edit out mistakes that you make along the way, and how to use the freeze frame function to maximize audio impact. A successful screencast begins with a proper setup and a distraction-free recording rig. Make sure your cell phone is turned off and that you are in quiet location. You'll also need to have your display resolution set correctly, a clean computer desktop, and have removed the date and time from your menu bar. Let's take a look at doing those things now. Once you've connected the microphone to the USB port, go to System Preferences and then go to Sound. Go to the Input tab and make sure your microphone is chosen. Say a few test words into the mic and make sure it's being picked up. The audio waves should move as you speak and hit the middle of the input level bar. Adjust as needed. It is also important to record at a reasonable resolution. If you record at too low of a resolution, the image quality will be poor. If you record too high of a resolution, everything will look very small on most common monitors. To set your display resolution, go to System Preferences and then choose Displays. I recommend setting your resolution to as close to 1280 by 800 as humanly possible, give or take a few pixels. You also want to make sure your audience is focused on your content and not your lack of organization. A cluttered desktop can be a huge distraction. A quick and easy way to clean your desktop is to use a control click to create a new folder on your desktop. Label it something simple like workspace, as I've done here, and move everything on your desktop to that folder. When you're done recording, feel free to move things back to their original locations. You'll undoubtedly have some editing to do as you record as well. One thing that will give away those edits and make your cast seem jumpy is seeing the clock go from something like 751 to 802 in the blink of an eye. In fact, if you go back and rewatch this screencast, you'll notice this timestamp up here jump quite a bit up until now. An easy way to fix this problem is to remove the date and time from the menu bar. Go to System Preferences, then choose Date and Time. Click on the Clock tab and make sure the option for Show Date and Time in Menu Bar is removed. Now no one will be able to tell when you recorded your screencast or how many edits you've had to make. Now that you have your rig set up, let's take a look at how to remove mistakes, misspeaks, or other non-words like um or uh, and why it is crucial to produce a top quality product. Understand that the audio and video of recording are two totally different things, and that in many situations you need to only edit one or the other, but not both. In ScreenFlow, highlight the audio or video timeline you wish to edit. Move the red scrubber line to the starting point of the area you wish to remove and press Command Shift T. Move the scrubber line to the end of the area you wish to remove and press Command Shift T again. This creates the two splits. Highlight the area you wish to remove and press Delete. Highlight the trailing timeline or timelines and drag them against the preceding timelines. This will create a seamless transition while removing the mistake. While editing your screencast, you'll undoubtedly run into situations where you need to fix the audio, but don't really need the video to change at all. Adding a freeze frame is a perfect way to keep the visual on the screen while incorporating new audio. To insert a freeze frame, move your scrubber to the end of the visual timeline and control click on that timeline. Choose Add Freeze Frame and ScreenFlow will add a perfectly sized screenshot to the last frame of the timeline. The difference between a good screencast and a great screencast is in the details. Be sure to remove any dead air, mistakes, or missed words by editing them out. If you need extra audio, be sure to bridge the gap with the video freeze frame. And most importantly, make sure you're working with a properly set up rig. Implementing these techniques into your workflow will ensure your recordings go from being just okay to positively amazing. Your videos will get more views and your audience will thank you. Thanks for watching.